And now we're going right up 400 kilometers uh, into space to meet with Tim Peake. Good evening. Thank you for being with us. Uh, for almost two months now, you've been at the International Space Station. First question, do you spend a lot of time looking out the window, looking at the Earth, contemplating it? Bonsoir, David. Bienvenue à bord de la Station Spatiale Internationale. Uh, yes, the answer to your question is, of course, we spend uh, almost every free moment that we have looking out the window and taking photographs. Uh, we're kept very busy during the day, of course, but in the evenings we get some free time. And the view of planet Earth is just spectacular. Day, night, auroras, uh, thunderstorms, it's just incredible. What uh, has amazed you the most, struck you the most in this show you see from, of the Earth from space? There are a couple of things that have really struck me. First is just how thin our atmosphere is. And I kind of knew that from seeing photographs of other astronauts, but to actually see it yourself, and especially at sunrise and at sunset, um, and of course we orbit the Earth 16 times a day, so we get plenty of sunrises and sunsets, and you can see that tiny, tiny band of which our atmosphere is contained in and how fragile our atmosphere is. Um, that was really quite incredible to see with my own eyes. talk briefly about your daily life. I think you've put aside for us one of your meals, one of the meals you'll be uh, eating today. Could you show it to us? Yes, well, actually, it's just I've just got a drink to show you, but this is an example of uh, how we eat and drink our food. It, it's all contained in pouches, of course, to stop it from floating away. Um, and we simply drink our, our food through straws, and also we can uh, have soup, for example, through that as well. Um, everything else comes up in cans of food, or we rehydrate it, just add hot water and eat it out of packets. But our, our daily routine is really working from about 7 in the morning till 7 at night, and it's it's mainly scientific activities here on board uh, the space station. You sleep in a sleeping bag. We saw this. Uh, but you're not strapped in anyhow, tethered. Is it easy to sleep floating around in the air? It takes a little bit of getting used to. At first, it felt quite strange, and it's hard to switch off at the end of a day and kind of tell your body to go to sleep because you don't rest your head on a pillow and lie in a bed. You're kind of floating all day long, and then at night time, you're still floating, but you have to tell your body to go to sleep. Um, but it only takes a couple of weeks, and then you end up sleeping quite well up here. Tim, have you already done a spacewalk? Have you gone out yet? Yes, I was very fortunate to do a spacewalk about uh, three weeks ago with my crewmate Tim Copra from NASA. And we had to go and repair an electrical component right at the very edge of the space station, the furthest part of the space station. And that was absolutely incredible. We, we had to repair it during the eclipse because the power from the, uh, from the sun, obviously, coming through the solar panels, we had to make sure we were in the shadow before we could repair that component. Um, and we got an opportunity to wait for the sun to go down and to take some photographs and enjoy the view of planet Earth. The most incredible experience of my life being outside the space station in a spacesuit. Was it scary? Was it just scary to be out in that void, the space void? Do you know, before I went on the spacewalk, I was, I was probably more apprehensive because I did not know what to expect. But as soon as the hatch opened and I saw the sunlight flooding into the airlock, I was just very happy, very happy to get outside the space station, very comfortable outside. And, and it also, it felt quite peaceful. It, it felt quite calm working out there. It was really a, a great experience. Tim, 
lastly, would you have a message that you'd like to give us, to us, uh, the seven billion Earthlings watching you so far away in space? What's your message for us? Do you know, I've been trying to share this mission as much, as much as possible with everybody back on Earth. I think it's our responsibility as astronauts to do that. I just wish that I could bring everybody up on board here to, to look at planet Earth and to see it through our eyes. Um, and really, uh, it's just a, the most beautiful place uh, I can imagine. And it really brings it home how we need to look after each other and how we need to look after our planet. very much, Tim Peake, for spending time with us. Thank you for giving this uh, time together with us. And have a great uh, stay in space. Thank you very much. It's been great talking to you. Goodbye. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you. Thank you, European Space Agency and France 2 Television Network. Station, please stand by while we reconfigure video and audio communications.